Hello, everybody out there. <clears throat> so today, we are talking again about Dr. Acula. And um, today we're going to be moving into some more stuff. We're going to be going over chapters 7 and 8. And um, this is where stuff in this book from the last couple chapters where it was like going down it's still kind of going down but some stuff is actually happening now so that's kind of cool so we we start with chapter seven which is um a cutting from a newspaper um pasted in mina harker's journal or mina miss mina murray's journal and um this is where we learn about the dimitri um, the ship that was acting queerly um, out at sea and we find out a lot of the horrors that happened um, because of it and that's kind of um, one of the mo more interesting bits although I will say that I don't know if newspapers back in this day were so um I don't want to say wordy, but they went into some great detail um, about everything about the ship and how it was found and what happened. Um, almost to the point of um, no, I don't know. It, it, you'll 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 know when when you read it. <clears throat> but I think the transition from the newspaper into Mina's journal um, worked out kind of cool because again we're reading this newspaper article but it the reason why we're reading it at all is because it was pasted in Mina's journal and then we go into um, Mina's stuff um, on August 8th where um, Lucy is sleepwalking again and then when we go into chapter 8 um, we go right into it. And this is when things get a little funny. And this is where one of my critiques um, possibly more a critique of the period, I guess. But so like probably one of the more famous scenes from Dracula is when Mina runs out to this bench that her and Lucy sit on all the time and sees Lucy sitting there after she'd been sleepwalking out and there's this dark figure um, like on top of her basically and um, when Mina sees it and like yells for Lucy the figure vanishes or whatever <clears throat> Now, the thing about this that's weird, and, like, Mina doesn't spend a lot of time worrying about the fact that she thinks she saw a figure on Lucy. She's more worried that anyone might see her running outside barefoot. And that's, like, a fucking cardinal fucking sin back in the day, right? Apparently. So there's that. Um, and then, like, she notices these pinpricks on Lucy's neck that she thinks that she must have done accidentally when she grabbed her and ran her back home kind of thing with like a safety pin or something like that um so it's it's kind of strange and then we have these like bits of um boxes being delivered and like telegrams back and forth and invoices with money given back it's all... I don't know. I... I, I, I don't know. Like, this is stuff that could be done. Like, I don't even think these things need to be in there because we know Dracula bought this place and all of his shit is going to end up there. Like, why is it such a... Like, we should take a chapter here, or take a section of this book, and make sure 
the reader knows that the moving company um, put the boxes in. It's it's just like, what the fuck is this? Um, so that's a little bit weird. <clears throat> but the big reveal, not big reveal, but like turning point for Mina is that she finally hears that John's okay, sort of. She gets a letter from some nuns um, in like Budapest saying, hey, your dude's here. He's a bit wacky and a bit crazy, but he's here. And, um, you know, so get down here as quick as you can kind of thing. And that John's been there for six weeks and been ill and the whole thing. Well, then in um, uh, Dr. Seward's diary, um, we, we hear um, Renfield speaking of the master. And um, this is going to get good. And then um, Renfield escapes and hops the fence over to Carfax Abbey and is just talking and gets captured. And this will happen over and over again. And that's okay because shit's getting real. Um, so, and the more I think about this, it makes me feel like Quincy, the American, is kind of the odd man out as far as, like, why the fuck are you even in this story? Like, this story could definitely be told without you. But, um, I don't know. There, there, there will be some... Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that when we get to that. But anyway, so the story's picking up. It's Friday. Like, we have the whole weekend ahead of us. Um, hopefully the story will really pick up and shit'll get fucking real and everything will be a lot of fun. But um, that's what's going on in Dracula as of right now. As of um, Friday, October 8th at 2.05 in the p.m. So, anyway... Um, if you're reading along, let me know how, what you think of it so far, um, how much you're digging it. If you already finished it because you just can't put this book down, let me know as well. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.